Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today I'm with no stranger to the show at Corvette Mike Midwest. Bill cut some. Good to see you. Lou, welcome back. And with that, we have a, uh, just to make sure we have a class act on this story. What's the story behind this car? This is a 1968 uh, Cadillac DeVille convertible, one owner, 54,000 mile car. And the one owner has had this obviously until uh, he decided to, uh, is this a consigned car? Or how's this work? Yes, it is. And uh, the owner unfortunately had passed away. Sorry and, to hear that. Uh, you know, now the family wanted to sell the car. And here we have it. So the story continues with the next owner. So with that being said, when we have a car like this, and you'll see why, it's mandatory that we get the chance to video. Because <laughs> that is pretty sweet. Well, I can definitely see why only one owner has had this car, because this is quite the nice car. And although we just had the sun tucked behind a cloud let me give you a few more angles of this car before that sun comes out and gives us a different look on it which will be in just a second obviously a convertible so 68 I'm doing my math 50 years in one owner's hands Wow and this car has never been videoed before no it hasn't no it's basically been a private collection it's its whole life. The car has had one repaint in the correct color. Everything else is original on the car. With one repaint. And look at those tail lights. It's really an those, iconic look. Yeah, those are wonderful. Thin, luxurious. Let's take a look in the trunk, shall we? Okay, we, we checked this out to make sure there were no bodies buried Which is in important. <laughs> <laughs> and although there's no trunk or treats in this one, I thought I'd show you this car trunk because oh look how clean this is. And even like look at the, the cardboard features around the car and this metal framing there. The jack wonderfully tucked away. I mean this is an owner who's loved this car. Let's shut that please. And as the sun's come out, I want to take one more look back at this car. Wow. You gotta love that. Let me show that with the sun on it. That's wonderful. I mean, those quarter panels are about the size of a normal car today. Yes, they are. <laughs> this car literally has never been hit. It's all metal. There's no Bondo in this car. It's just a time capsule, to say the least. When we get to have a time capsule that's a one owner car, that's a good enough story. And in 68, I think these marker lights were required for safety. Yes. And I like the little. I'm going to take a second, just that little Cadillac emblem right there. For the turn signals, those are also okay. turn signal indicators. indicators for the driver. And we'll take a look at the front. This was when Cadillac was really the luxury car on the road. I mean, you drove up in a Cadillac convertible like this, there was a lot of pride you're an American, you're driving a big GM car. This is as good as it gets. Look at that emblem, how clean. How nice. The scripting, the turn signal, the dual overhead lights. Let's take a look at uh, under the hood, shall we? I wanted to notice too that we got an electric antenna on this side. I'll show this side just to show it. Fender skirts. Look at how big the tires and the wheel covers are. Well, even the amount of room after the back tire versus, you know, you get a little, little deck. 
All right, you got a big one on this car. Let's take a look at, so right under the hood, go ahead. Right under the hood, and then right in the center. So you've got kind of a dual mechanism system. Notice you've got a little handle right, right here. Where is it? I got it, yeah, I see it. It's right here that you pull on. And then you have a secondary handle right here, so under the hood, you push up. 472 cubic inches, as we see right there. And this is how it's done. The padded piece here. We have a battery here, but notice second battery tray here, not obviously being used. Did this car come from Illinois, Bill, or somewhere else? No, it's always been in Illinois. Always been in Illinois. And then this Lou is the cruise control really? mechanism. You got an interesting breather there. And this is the cruise mechanism. Now look at the hoses going down in there. We're kind of catching that. Tag. Just like that. Okay. Let's take a look at the interior, shall we? Nice. GM logo. Pop riveted there. Nice carpeting on the bottom. Put your Cadillac emblem there. Let me do that. Actually, yeah. Seat switch. Oh, seats. Nice. And that's the date code on the belts. I like even like, not only is this your push to get in the back, but like a nice little scripting on there. And then your back seat. As we pull this up, there's this bar that you grab onto. And notice even the Cadillac emblems across the back. This piece in the middle, it sits up. A little wood grain. And we started with the top down so we could get more look at the interior. Now clearly there's a little car hand controls there for there's the owner the before. Control. Right here. Wow. Here's your top up and down. There's those miles. Bill, what's your reaction when you hear somebody say, hey, we got a car with 54,000 miles, it's all original. It's been sitting in our dad's garage the whole time. It's just, you don't hear that very often. Yeah. Especially being in this condition. That was very well maintained. Sometimes you get like the barn finds, as they call them, that has had the same owner, but they haven't really taken care of it. This car is just mechanically just so sound. Like right in the center, so everybody knows what you're driving. If you're in the back, you can see it. You're in the front, and then right there. Let me show these door controls. Emergency, normal lock, window lockout. Windows are cranked, but still the side window in '68. Yeah. So that was. I think one of the maybe the El Dorado model might have had power window. Uh, power, power side windows. Yeah. Okay. And this one. To your point, is the Deville. All right, let's uh, let's start her up, shall we? All right. <laughs> Let me just listen to it idle for a second, Bill. Step on the brakes, please. Look just in the little centers. 
Just in the centers. Could you throw it in reverse for a second? And the bottom light side. Okay, thank you. Give it a ref, please. One more time. Let's shut the hood, and if you would, let's uh, put the top up, shall we? Can you shut that door for a second, Bill? Can you turn the parking lights on, Bill? This, so we've got this side marker here. Turn the blink around, would you please? The blink around? Okay, so maybe they don't maybe they don't turn. Try the other blinker, I'm just curious. But you have this one on. Nope, they don't do it. Alright. So they're just, uh, pull the parking lights on. Try the turn signal again. We had some light, I'm not sure. All right, we'll shut the lights off. They'll stay right there. Okay. You look good in this one. <laughs> Bill, always a pleasure. Thanks for bringing these great cars out to us. Thanks for sharing the stories of the past owner. And somebody else can be the new owner. Yes. Come to Corvette Mike Midwest. Right. As a matter of fact, we already have a new owner for this car. Do we? Yes. So this was just saved for my car story. This was saved for Saved yours, for yes. our iCar story. Bill, now, wonderful he's treat. i happy to be able to see it on your channel. Bro. That sounds like a wonderful thing. Bill, thanks for being on my car story. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you can see all the cars and you can see great cars like this one. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Lou.